media, you put out uh, a comment saying, you know, oh, wish you well kind of thing, hope the eye heals up, you'll be back stronger, yeah. champ. And there was a lot of attention and focus on what you said in particular, because not only have you gone through a similar situation in your career, similar injury, orbital, but also yeah. Billy Joe Saunders, amongst many others in boxing, really gave you a bit of a kick while you were yeah. down. So there was a tension on you. What's Daniel Dubois going to say? And you came up with that classy response. Why? Because I think there's no need to rub anything in. Um, and just, just rub it in for what? It's not going to gain me nothing. Uh, you know, I want to have a clear path ahead of me now. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, some things, they can come back to haunt me. And so I, myself, I don't want to experience none of anything like that. And so if I... You know, go into a situation. I'm gonna go into it with a clear conscience and uh, and uh, just 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 be right as a fighter. And I love being a warrior, so none of the outside whatever that sort of stuff is will affect me. So yeah, I don't need that on my slate right now. Those are the words of Daniel Dubois as he explains why. He decided to give such a classy response, such a response, a response of prestige. And he gave you his answer. He didn't want that on his conscience. He didn't want things to come back and haunt him. And he wanted a clean slate. He's in there for the battle and all that other stuff outside. The battle doesn't matter to him. And it clearly shows it doesn't. You know, um, Daniel Dubois did take a lot of slack. And the irony of it is, Billy Joe was one of the ones that gave him a kick. And the nuts. <laughs> Not grazed the nuts. No, he kicked the nuts. And if you read between the lines, when someone responds the way Daniel Dubois does. Just because he responded like that, I want people to understand, doesn't mean he didn't feel some type of way when Billy Joe Saunders was doing it. He just took it and kept going. And really what he's saying, if you read between the lines of Daniel Dubois, he's saying like, look, listen, I didn't do what Billy Joe Saunders did because I don't want to end up like Billy Joe Saunders was. See, he was talking about when things come back to haunt you, he was talking about Billy Joe. See, you have to read between the lines of what he was really saying. Daniel Dubois was saying, hey, you know what? I want a clear conscience going in there, so I don't want any type of drama or let my mouth write a check that my ass can't cash because those things could come back to my ass because we're still in the sport of hard knocks, if that makes sense. Okay, so he was referring to Billy, but he was also referring generally like, hey, I don't want anything to come back on me. Because if you guys can remember, he was he was speaking of his own experience. And you might say, well, what, what, what Daniel, Daniel didn't say anything about Billy Joe. No, he didn't say anything about Billy Joe. Billy Joe said something about him. Daniel Dubois made a derogatory comment towards Joe Joyce's mother. She had an eye problem and he said some foul stuff, some messed up junk about her eyesight, you know, and it was like, oh, well, she had problems seeing. So he was like, well, it's a good thing your mom blind. She won't have to see you get beat by me or get knocked out by me. You know, something real foul. And you know what? It, it's more than that. And, you know, and, and Daniel Dubois decided to uh, engage in that outside activity like he was saying that outside stuff it doesn't matter so he's learned he's grown as a fighter and as a person like look certain things you shouldn't say because you don't know how that can impact you in a whole different way and how did that impact him he damn near got his eye put out by joe joyce now didn't he okay so yeah he didn't say anything derogatory about a fighter but he said something derogatory someone to someone or about someone closer or close to a fighter, which was Joe Joyce's mom. So people forget that. So before we say, oh man, he's classy move. It was classy because he's learned his lesson. Billy Joe learned his lesson or he should have. Not saying he didn't, it hadn't proven that he did. 
He just not, he had a nice generalized message yesterday, okay? But it doesn't really mean that he's learned yet. The important thing is Daniel Dubois learned. That's how he's using it. See, if he didn't learn anything, he would have continued that vicious cycle of, of stirring stuff up and talking about people, backbiting, that's what it's called, about someone else. And then, see, he had full counter to do so because that same person did the same thing to him. OK, but two wrongs don't make a right, people. You see what I'm saying? Let's hey, if the murderer kills someone. Let's kill the murderer. That type of thing. OK, so Daniel Dubois is learning and I'm proud of him for that. And then see what people don't take into account. People don't think about that. People just think about what Billy said about him versus what he could have said about Billy. But he didn't do that because he learned from his own personal experiences. It's not about the people that talked about me. It's the people that I did something and said something derogatory and, and bothered and did something too. Okay, so he's learning as a fighter in, in great, you know, fair play to him. You know, you give him 100% respect. He gets a lot of points for this because he's learning the rules of life and he's learning the rules of engagement. And what the things that you should do and what you shouldn't do. Some things are tasteful. Some things are really not. Now, mind you, Billy Joe and Daniel Dubois, they both did some foul stuff, okay? But they're both learning, and I hope from this first loss, because this is Billy Joe Saunders' first loss, that he's learned. Like, yo, don't talk about other fighters because you might be in that same situation, and you might do the same thing, <laughs> right? Or your corner or whatever, because, yeah, it's you. He's the only one that's going out there taking those shots. But he felt the pain. He felt the reason. He felt this probably the same pain or a similar pain that Daniel Dubois felt that made him like, dude, I can't do this. And let me take a knee. This dude's going to put my freaking eye out. OK, so it's one of those things that you have to look at and reflect. So if I'm Billy Joe and I'm sitting up in the hospital room with half my cheek and my eye, you know, healing as we speak, hopefully. Rapidly, hopefully. I would think about how Daniel Dubois chose to respond and wish him well. And I hope that the next time another fighter gets in that same situation like Daniel Dubois was, like himself, he would choose a different approach on the things that he says to social media. Kicking a man while he's down in the nuts. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Daniel Dubois' response. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.